What's up guys, welcome to another React video and today we're going to explore how we can deploy a React application that has React Router integrated into it. Okay, now this might sound uh, confusing for some of you that don't know anything about React Router. If you don't know, then this video is definitely not for you. However, we're going to go get started. Before we do that, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what we're working with. Okay, so here's the basic application. Here's what it does. It has a route over called contact if you go there you will see this component change to something say contact component it has another rod called project component so we are dealing with three different route and technically the home page rod which is as simple as this is okay very very basic where we're gonna focus is we're gonna focus off wherever you have your react router configuration wherever you have react router and browser router that is wrapping whatever it is wrapping that's where we go into focusing in order for us to be able to deploy this application to github pages all right without any further ado let's get our hands dirty first thing first head over to our terminal let's stop our server and we're gonna install a package called gh pages and save this one as a dev dependency once this package is finished head over to the website and we're gonna type github slash new and what this is gonna allow us to do is this is gonna allow us to create a new repository and we're gonna call this one uh deploy react or something like that uh github uh, pages very basic whatever you guys want to name your repo you can feel free to to name it whatever you want to once this is done hit create and this is going to create a github repo for us over github okay all right once this is done we need to copy this url and this is going to consider our second step and here back to the terminal again we're going to run this command add origin and paste the url once again everything will be on one line the reason i had it on two line is because it just kind of goes to the next line once we have that click enter and we're done with the second step third step we're gonna head over our packet that json inside our code we're gonna be adding a couple things right here the first thing we're gonna add is something with the home page and we're gonna add this url make sure it's equal to https some of you might got that wrong and we're gonna add github usernames that github.io and then slash repo that url all right this is the exact url that you need to have we're going to break it down for you of what to add uh, per different places the first one we need to focus about is here this you need to add your github username mine is equal to axiom sterling if you don't know where yours is you can head over your github account again head over wherever you have your name and this is your github username you replace it over there the second thing we need to do is we're going to replace the repo with whatever name of our repo that we just created in our case this is the name of this repo we copy this name and paste it down here and ladies and gentlemen we're done with this step the second thing we need to do in this file is head over the script tag we're not we're going to add a couple script first script we're going to be adding it's something called pre-deploy and we're going to make this one equal to npm run build one build the second one is something called deploy and we're going to make this one to gh pages dash d dash build all right ladies and gentlemen here's everything we just did inside the script we add two script right there one called pre-deploy and the other one called deploy and we also add something called home page which we break down this is the username and this is the repo name once this is done the only thing you need to do is head over back to your terminal and run npm deploy and that should be everything you need to do all right guys our application has been deployed to github pages and if we copy this url and try to access our application let's see what happened and there we go we got a fall for which is expected but however if this was a normal application without react router it will be able to deploy to github pages because there is react router involved there is some further in configuration that we need to do in our end if you guys remember inside your index.js this is where we're going to be focused on to fix a couple issue so once you have this like this the next step is make sure that you have the browser router is equal to hash router okay once you have the hash router replacing the browser router the only thing you need to do is go ahead and run npm run deploy again to deploy your application to github pages 
all right guys once this is deployed give it a couple seconds before it goes and if i go refresh this page and try not to go to project and there you guys go i'm seeing the project and i can go to different other things such as contact and i can even go back to the home page and keep moving every places that i want to once again guys make sure you give it the hash router in order for you to be able to configure it now one thing i'd like to mention here is if you guys notice i have hash router as router which means i can use router here but however if you do not have this you, you're gonna have to take the hash router and we place it and rub the app inside of it and that should be working as expected if we try to deploy this one again it should be working as expected let's wait for a second all right if we give this one a try again once again click enter this seems to be working so go to slash contact and this seems to be working as expected and if i go to project and this seems to be working again and ladies and gentlemen this is how you deploy a react with react router to github application with the react router dump however there's one thing i'd like to point out here guys if you guys take a look at the slash project here right well one thing to notice is in order for you to access any url you need to add the slash pound first and then slash whatever url you'd like to go to so the bottom line is there is a pound before you can access your url for example if i want to access the contact I can just put slash contact but just keep that in mind there is a pound before the slash and this is just how the hash router itself works and i hope this helps you guys if you have any question please leave them in the comment below otherwise see you guys in the session